Hey, welcome back, everybody. You know, I've been meaning to do this for a long time just because um, I did an unboxing of a Sound Blaster uh, a year or two ago, and uh, I was surprised on how many you know comments we got on it. And I realized that that's uh, an issue for a lot of people, especially because um, they want great you know sound in games or you know privacy, or they don't want to just disturb anybody, or they just want you know that oomph you know in their music in their games. Well, internal sound cards are you know great and all I mean they they definitely sound louder and that's usually because they have a better amplifier than what's on the motherboard uh, but what what somebody had said on you know, what the video was true sometimes those onboard uh, uh, sound, the onboard sound chip and what you get in an aftermarket sound card they're fairly similar um, differences being there's amps in the, there may be louder amps on an onboard sound card versus the onboard motherboard Okay, and then some people swear they can tell the difference, some people say they can't. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just go around and grab a motherboard. This is an old motherboard. It's just me today, by the way. So, no cameraman. So, here's your tip. This is an old motherboard, but it basically has a decent, you know, onboard sound chip. If I re recall correctly, this is a Realtek onboard sound chip. I can't remember the specific model, um, but it offers you really, really good sound quality versus some of the really ancient motherboards which didn't have really good onboard sound audio. So, what do I think? I have an onboard sound, I have a sound blaster on my main computer here, my main Antec supercomputer there. Well, it used to be a supercomputer, but if I zoom in, you'll see it. It's actually the red um, uh, sound, uh, lit up card there. And that's a sound blaster. It's a, it's one of, it's a sound blaster. Um, I can't remember which particular model, but it's the sound blaster quad core first release model of that, of that chip. Why did I buy it? I bought it because I'm in a very noisy environment. Basically, I'm in an environment where uh, I am in a market, and you can actually see people walking behind uh, my store there, and so. Uh, it's a lousy, it's a lousy kind of deal being having it so noisy every day, but it is what it is. And so basically, I sometimes want to watch something on my tri monitor setup, like news or something, and I just couldn't get, you know, even with my uh, little uh, stand stereo there, I couldn't get it loud enough. And so what I did was I added the sound card, and you know, whatever it did, it it brought in cleaner sound. It um, had a better amp, it had, you know, sent cleaner sound to the speaker system, whatever it was, it did help. Uh, pr probably attribute that to like a more of like a preamp, you know, I, I wrecked up the levels before it went out, you know, through the sound card. But that's probably what most of you guys are noticing too. You just, you don't know the, uh, the specs on it. You don't know particularly how everything works. Te technically, you have an idea, but if most, pe most people don't, and they just realize that it's, better it sounds better it's louder you know and so they say that's better well some people are a little bit more picky this if you if you want to go with clean clean sound like pure like as clean a sound as you can get go with a DAC why because even with um, the best onboard audio basically the audio chip the sound card you know whatever you want to call it is sharing the same PCB as the main motherboard, which means electrical noise humming through all these other components may come out your audio jack and through the front panel audio jack also. Now, newer motherboards have separated that. Some you know, have this lit up LED here saying it's separate board, it's separate from the main board. They look cool, uh, they may work. Uh, I, have, I have not. Uh, Heard, read any reviews on it if any of you guys know the specs and reviews uh i've heard any reviews about that you know post them at the bottom of the you know video i'd really love to hear that otherwise the only pure, you know real way to get clean clean audio is with these things external usb dax a digital audio converter what is it it's basically um an external sound chip that connects to your laptop or desktop via USB and going through USB you get rid of that any electrical noise no hissing no electrical hum 
no buzzing, no nothing. It's as clean as you can get, okay? And so if you have a really good uh, pair of uh, headphones, you can, you know, get the most out of those headphones. And some people, some people swear that you have to go this way to get the cleanest sound to your headphones. You know, that's, you know, very subjective. You know, like I said, to many laymen, it's a subjective thing because their ears aren't trained. Okay, so, um, but what is this exactly? It converts basically digital audio to analog so that we can hear it. Um, this is from Vantech, really cheap, about $30. I actually have two of these. Uh, the reason why I have them is because they, they do, you know, uh, basically outperform what I have on the onboard motherboard, especially in laptops and such. And so, uh, it's pretty tiny. So this particular one is not the highest in you can get, okay? So SPDIF, this is a 7.1 uh, full audio channel and uh, support 48, 41.4, uh, one kilohertz sampling rates. And here's the, uh, let's see if I can get the specs on here. So you can see where some of the specs are. Okay. But it's packaged fairly nicely. The package is actually <laughs> nicer than I expected. And, and I've used this. I'm just, oh, I'm just uh, uh, unpackaging it, kind of. But you see, there's a little, you know, embossing here, which is nice. Makes me wonder if we're paying for the packaging more than anything else. And this is it. This is, a, if you can see it, even though I have gorilla hands, it's it's pretty tiny. And um, on the front face, uh, face you see basically a power and uh, power LED, mic mute LED. You have volume up, volume down mic mute volume mute in the front you have four on the right for your 7.1 uh, setup and then you have a line in and a headphone jack on the left you have for this is a uh, mic input stereo mic and mono mic and then on the back your usb connector spdif out spdif in now i don't use this for recording i basically just use it to get clean audio out to uh uh, speakers or headphones and so it's pretty easy in, in the box the only other thing you get in the box is actually the cable the USB cable I don't have that because um, I've already used it but this is basically what it'll be packaged with if, uh, the, with the install guide it's plug-and-play for Windows 7 and Windows uh, Vista and such but this is what you get and uh, it's pretty nice instructions and such color manufacturer warranty and, and you get the driver you get the driver disc actually so that's what you get in there and how do you work it this is probably the easiest thing and we're, we're actually going to set it up real quick okay and because uh, I like I said a lot of people are a little bit curious about this thing I'm going to set up on a laptop that I just fixed and upgraded with an SSD and uh, running Windows 8.1 and we're let's let's set it up let's plug it in with a and I don't have a cable let me go grab one this is obviously not the cable that it came with but it's basically going to use a a USB in cable like this and we're gonna plug it in basically and plug it into any existing USB uh, and any existing USB 2 port. And as you see, it's powering up right now. And we'll get this off screen real quick. And we do need a we do need a internet connection. And so we're going to reconnect now is this Windows 10 compatible this is Windows 10 compatible uh, through plug-and-play I believe I believe there's actually uh, there's software for it so you can use a driver disk you can use a driver disk if you'd like to uh, we're not going to I'm going to go to their website and download the particular drivers because there's always updated drivers and so you can do that um, you can use the driver disk, but like I said, it's always a good idea to use the most uh, up-to-date drivers. So 
what we're going to do is we're going to go just do a quick Google search. We're going to do Vantec USB, and it pops up external 7.1. And there we go. Pops up right on top, Vantec's website for their external 7.1 channel audio adapter. And uh, let me see if you can see that on screen because I'm the only cameraman. And uh, obviously you can't, I'm sorry about that, but there we go. And let me get a quick zoom in here, and so we can, uh, so you guys can see a little bit better. And so on the Ventex uh, page, there's, it's a very nice page, uh, meaning <laughs> it's not just a, a, a few, just like a few sentences. Um, there's a flyer for it, which is I interesting. Um, so their flyer must be some marketing material and such. Yeah, it's a marketing material, and then there's uh, there are more images. I and so it's it's actually nice. Uh, Vantec uh, cares about this product, which is nice. Um, I have actually seen other products very similar to this. So I'm not sure if it's uh, just a uh, product, generic product, and uh, licensed other under different manufacturers, which it could be. But we're interested in the drivers, so let's go to the drivers. And it's uh, downloading a zip file. And let's go down and see what compatibility they have. Uh, that says Windows 8 and Windows 10 ready. Okay. So this particular USB DAC, I don't, I believe, is not compatible with a uh, Mac. No, it's not. Oh, well, we do have some information about it. It's the NBA 2200U, and the chipset is the C Media CM6206. Okay. So it is what it is. The C Media, I've seen uh, those chips in a lot of sound cards actually. But uh, should have downloaded quicker than this. But let's uh, let's let it download, and then we can get an idea of what the what software you get with it. Um, in our previous videos, somebody had noted that you know you get a sound blaster, but you know you get limited support. You, there's not even an EQ. Um, sound blaster used to actually have a lot of support for their products, and um, you know you you actually have a hard time going through their website grabbing the, uh, the right or going through the uh, the software packages for the right sound card you had it wasn't the most elegant uh, layout that they had I remember on sound blasters well, web page and this uh, this is actually taking a little bit longer to download than I thought um, and that's not because of the internet speed it just might be the uh, um, the uh, connection to Vantex website but here it's speeding up right now so you know I'm not gonna pause this or anything like that because uh, just want to go through the whole set and for you guys to get the sense of the um, experience yourself. But the only thing I really don't like about this is that that blue LED is like the Terminator's laser eye. You know, I, I wish they, you know, it would dim or if you had an option just to turn it down. Um, I can I understand why you might want to know that it's on, but it might have been a better idea just to put the LED in the back or something, or just a really low power LED. But it is what it is for right now, guys. You can always put duct tape over it or some kind of tape if you really wanted to. Okay. And so there we go. Finally downloaded. We're going to just unzip this. Extract all. And install the program. What is the software? It's basically an EQ with some presets on there. And so we have it unzipped and we'll set it up. And it's taking its sweet time to set up. Unless I didn't press it correctly. There we go. Accept the terms, install, and we said yes. Oh, I'm. Oh, I see. There was a delay. That's why.
looks like this guy's battery is not so good. This laptop was a, a repair laptop, so they've it was sitting around uh, the customer's house for about a year or so, so their battery may have just you know gone bad during that time. And it is a Windows 8 8.1 laptop, so. Oh, let's restart the computer real quick to see what it looks like. Now the, I have found personally that the presets on uh, this Vantech uh, digital audio converter, uh, there's also, you know, some will work, it's particularly if you have a small living room or such, you know, depending on your speaker size and your amplifier uh, or whatnot, it's, you, you know, you may find the presets to work really well. I really haven't. Um, I do play with the EQ, of course, you know, uh, just to to work out, to match my speakers set at home and such. But see, if you open up here, there is the USB multi-channel uh, multi audio device. I'm gonna double check to see if you guys can see that popping up. Uh, you can, to a certain degree. And I'm gonna click it. And there you go. This is what pops up on screen. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit more and so that you can get a, a little bit better view of that. So, what do I have in front of us? We have channel in, system input, two channel, uh, four channel, six channel, eight channel, uh, digital, digital signal processing mode, the advanced settings, um, this is actually new. I have never, I have not seen this. So I, uh, since I have installed mine at home, this is new. Um, the shifter, the DSP. We have this button for 7.1 virtual speakers. You put that on. That makes it sound better. Uh, and then the X gear surround sound mode. That also makes it sound pretty good. You know, no matter what speaker or headphone you have, these two turning it on just makes it sound richer and more crisp, uh, whatever uh, presets those are. Um, so you have your analog output, some point one channel speakers or headphones, um, and then you have your digital, oh, that I don't believe you can change. Now, what, there's the mixer. Um, this is for general volume and rec. Here is the effects bathroom, in case you guys like to sing in the bathroom, it's supposed to mimic that. Then there's the concert hall, Underwater, I don't know why you want that, and Music Pub. And those are a little bit more... Then you have Generic Padded Cell. Not padded Cell like you're in a Padded Cell. Room. Uh, auditorium, I really don't like because it echoes quite a bit. But um, there is a whole bunch of presets here. And then the environment size, as you can see, I click it here. It makes it like I have smaller speakers, uh, smaller room, you know, taller room, whatever it is, you know. Uh, there's presets for dance, and you see how that changes the EQ. Now, some people swear that you should never play with the EQ. Just get really good as headphones and speakers. Quite frankly, not all of us can afford kick-ass headphones and speakers, you know. And so, you know, we, we play around with the EQ to try to maximize what we have, you know. And uh, uh, this is what I think a lot of people would want. Because um, you can, you know, mess around with the frequency uh, to suit your uh, particular music taste, or to actually, you know, like I said, let's say your headphones or speakers aren't the best, you can tailor it. You can maximize those headphones, or you can tailor what you have, you know, to suit your needs for your budget. So that's why I like about this particular uh, digital audio converter. It comes with at least an equalizer, um, a whole bunch of options. Uh, karaoke magic uh, and stuff like that um, and it's well documented so Vantech really well you know documents their products very well uh, and the you know they they took time to make a really nice web page about it but um, you know unfortunately um, I, I can't really show you um, how loud it is or I'm you know because I'm at a market if you guys are really curious I may do a little uh, an audio uh, versus thing at home where it's a little bit more quiet. I have one of these units at home and with a two little speakers set up, you know, and then you can maybe hear the difference. Um, but for $30, definitely, what this is what I would recommend. Uh, really nice little 
plug and play unit that works with a laptop or uh, even a big desktop like this, it'll still work. And it gives you richer sound than what will come with your computer. So, you know, I hope this answers a lot of questions. What did you guys think? Have you heard of digital audio converters before? There are very expensive models for sure. But, you know, this is just a really affordable option that will give you very clean sound. But any questions or comments, please post them at the bottom of the video. Thanks for watching.